M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. So I'm updating my Quasheng dock. There is a new version, thanks to Nick Shaw. It says here, enhanced LCD display cloning, font and color selection, channel editor with the ability to adjust multiple channels simultaneously, repeater book integration, spectrum analyzer with monitor mode, waterfall display, audio pass through. That's the features and the recent changes are Experimental TX Guard hopefully stops TX getting jammed on. US repeater book, Windows always on top. Hopefully Vixen channel editor crashes. Repeater book here. Channel editor copy paste. Channel editor cell editing. Audio latency and buffering options added. Firmware added remote option to radio menu to allow chirp to function. Fixed an issue with the status data packet length some font rendering problems so yeah the, i mean this is excellent isn't it i have been play, playing around uh making the cable i mean it's, it's just just great fun tinkering isn't it and we can do so much with this let's just turn off the channel editor i've used it quite a lot just for programming my radio because because look how good the channel editor is type the frequencies if i just quickly read my radio now i haven't got the audio cable in at the moment although just now i managed to get the audio to come out of my PC. So there's all my memory channels. Now I can change them. Look, just double click something and change it. If we shut down the editor. We can fire up the analyzer and got waterfall. Now I had to select this auto. Sorry, if you at the bottom left here, you got a settings cog. I selected that and then to pass through, enable pass through. Once I did that, I could select, you know, I could hear audio coming from my PC. Uh, so you've got my Yeti microphone there and the speakers on my monitor. And yeah, I mean, it's early development, but but a lot of work must have been done to get it to this point. And then you, this is the kind of cable you need uh, to make. You bait, you're only actually cutting one T cable. So you've got the 2.5 going into the top hole of your K5, K6. And you'd splice that to create this feed to your PC line. This one here, look, and there's diagrams and photographs. And the other twin cable, you don't have to cut anything. You just plug it straight into the, either the USB and PTT, both really. They, they follow it, follow the diagrams. So you've got the bottom one here, it goes to the 3.5 and the 2.5. Now actually looking at this, the bottom cable is going to the 3.5 jacks, the larger jacks. On both, on both the PTT or microphone and the USB cable. The one that we have to split, there's only one split really here, goes to the other two cables. Uh, and you do have to modify it slightly, which is what this is. Get yourself a 47K resistor. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much to, to Nick and the team and anyone else that's helping out on this. And that's got involved you can use it with exuma or original modified firmware bye for now seven three